All right, so welcome to chapter five. In this chapter, we're gonna be building an HTML CSS timeline. So this could basically be used for um, resumes or employment um, or even personal things like maybe an image timeline or kind of a journal type thing. Um, basically, the, the reason that I wanna do this is to get out of the boxy web page design, all right? Um, a lot of times websites are just very boxy, okay? You have a main column and then you have a sidebar and um, it all looks the same. So this is gonna be a little different. Um, we're gonna use background images for the timeline and um, it's just not gonna be too boxy. Um, it'll be fully responsive and will adapt to any screen size. Basically, you can see the little thumbnail over here. We have a line down the middle and we're gonna have years, okay? So basically we have these year blocks and then we have event blocks, okay? But it's not in a boxy format. We have the events coming off each side of the timeline. All right, so as far as the sections, we have the introduction, we have the timeline HTML markup, the base CSS, which will be, for instance, the body, the header, things like that, and then the timeline inner CSS, where we'll style the background images, the um, event blocks, and, and so forth. Um, and then, of course, we'll make it responsive, so we'll be able to view it on smaller screens, and we'll switch all the blocks over to the right, uh, and move the timeline to the left, okay, to make it look, look good on mobile devices. So we'll learn clean HTML5 markup, um, positioning and aligning less boxy type elements uh, using background images. We're gonna use the HTML5 time element for the dates and a responsive layout. All right, so that's the gist of it. Uh, so let's get started.